Welcome back again and for my new subscribers hi and thank you for joining our youtube family i appreciate you guys a lot and, and for my old subscribers you know i love you guys um today is a good day today i'm uploading two videos um there's gonna be one uploaded before this one which is gonna be jarka vlogs which is gonna be an introduction of what jarka vlogs is and why it came about um also a giveaway update so um, I didn't want to do a separate video for a giveaway update, but it's it's in the video, so you would have to watch it to see the update. And it's talking about like it's an open giveaway for international. It's international. You could be in London, you could be in Africa, you could be in Russia, you could be in Switzerland, you could be in Canada, you could even be here in the U.S. It's open for everyone so i had gave two options there so in order to know what those two options are you have to go see the video um today's video is just um the dollar tree makeup tutorial meaning everything exclusively from dollar tree the problem with that is um they do sell foundation and bb creams and stuff like that the problem is they only well my dollar tree only have them in light and i'm not lights and um there was a lady there and she was testing it out which i don't think you're supposed to um it was pale like pale super pale and i'm like i'm not gonna say here and look like a whole ghost so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna improvise i'm gonna use my fit me foundation and my primer and then everything else that i have from dollar tree I'm going to be using now there's going to be one brush I'm not using that is Dollar Tree which is my Shop Miss A brush and this is because it's my foundation brush and I couldn't find a foundation brush well I don't think this is meant to be like my foundation I call it my foundation brush because I love how it does my foundation um so the items that I have from Dollar Tree today and I already had them um, so I, it was so easy to just go in my makeup collection and just get them out. I had, I'm using these two. And this is just like a large eyeshadow pack on like brush. I'm using this. Oh, and I have my other elf. Um, this is like a blending brush. And this so I'll be using for like my blush and cause I'm not going to contour. Um, I'm going to use it for my blush and like, um, for highlights. So I'm improvising for highlights too because you know Dollar Tree don't have highlights. So I'm improvising. I'm being creative. Okay, so what I will be using for highlight, believe it or not, is the LA Color Shimmery Loose Eyeshadow. And um I heard you I heard many people use this as a highlight. I mean I personally never have and I'm like scared shitless because i don't want to look like a whole clown you understand oh okay i oh okay i can see why people use it got it i got it all right so i'll be using this as a highlight so wish me luck um i told you i have the color mates blush i love them and this one is in mauve love 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 this blush and it's very pigmented so you have to do it with a light hand um, this lip duo from LA Colors that's in Dollar Tree, which is a lipstick and a lip gloss in the bottom. Now, let me be honest with you guys. These makeup stuff, this is when I first started my collection. And I started my collection as of last year. No, I'm lying. Like two years ago. And, um, like the blush I recently bought. This I recently bought, but I never used it. It's still like unwrapped. It's like ridiculous. Um, the eyeshadow that I'm about to show you, I have never used, but I had it for a long time. So first off, I have the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow, which I found in Dollar Tree back in Brooklyn when I was living there. And it's just your neutral color browns, light and stuff. So this is going to be good. Um, I've also found like some shimmer shadows by Color Mates. Um, I've never tried it, so I'm hoping that it has good pigmentation. Um, from what I personally know from um, LA Colors Matte is that 
they have good pigmentation. Um, sometimes you have to build it, but that's not really a big issue with me. Um, lastly, I have um, mascara. A tiny, tiny mascara from LA Colors. So this should be fun. You know, I'm just doing a basic, like, you got to run out your house and you have to throw something on your face so you could look decent. This is what I'm going for. I'm not going full glam because it's Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. We're not doing that. So I have everything ready right here. Oh, before we get started, I mean, this is so off topic. But I picked this up, guys, like... Two or three weeks ago, um, from Five Below. It's a makeup mat. I paid five dollars for it, and if you look closely, it's like knitted and whatever. And you could throw this crap in the washer, and it cleans perfectly fine. What you do is, if let's say I'm done using this as a foundation brush, I clean off my brush on the mat like this, and I'm ready to use it for something else. And ugh, your girl definitely needs this. Okay, so yeah, back on topic. So now we're just gonna jump right in. So I need to go grab my Fit Me foundation. I thought I had prepped everything and I forgot that. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back. All right, so off camera I went and um, before I did this video, I had already washed, I had taken a shower, I washed my face, I moisturized. So now when I said I'll be right back, I went and I just primed my face, you know, to cut a video short because I don't want this to be epically long, which I always say and it always happens to me, but I'm really aiming not to talk much. So guys, let's jump right in. All right, so I already told you guys I'm just going to use my Fit Me um, foundation. So I usually just dip my brush and I put it on my face, but... I noticed that I waste a lot of product with my brush. So I'm just gonna just, you know, put this all over. And I always put a lot on my hand just in case I need to go back and get some more. I make sure I don't miss not one spot because I mean, I'm so proud of my skin. My skin is actually getting so much better. But I still don't feel comfortable, you know. Um, I'm also, just a side note, I am not doing concealer. So, I'm going to just put this all over, spread it evenly. That way we could just, you know. As you notice, I did not color. I didn't color correct. I didn't do none of that. And if you hear my my child, I kicked him out the room so I could do this video. And he's just by my door. And he's not too happy. And the reason why I just kicked him out is because he talks a lot. And I love my baby and all, but I didn't want to have the whole video like, Xavier, stop what you're doing. I, you know, I didn't want that. Okay. Oh, look at my little ponytail that I was telling you guys about. So... Yeah. 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 keep your brother company please okay um i'm sorry you guys i'm trying to really work this in because i feel like i'm a freaking ghost right now okay mommy. Mommy. yes xavier i love you i love you too now go over there please you don't be quiet, so you have to go. All right, you guys, you heard him. He's going to be quiet, so he better be quiet. Okay. Oh, my God, I look like a damn ghost. Okay. On camera because, uh, no, I I feel like a damn ghost. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just the lighting because I'm like, what the heck is going on? Okay, so... Foundation is on. Now we're going to jump right into um, I tell you guys I'm using my 
brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to automatically just set my face because I'm not doing nothing else. So I'm using the Fit Me powder. And I'm just going to go right in and just put it everywhere. Fit Me is so great, guys. I, I swear by this. Or the um the better skin, which is awesome. So. And guys, there is no right or wrong way to do makeup. You do it how you feel like you want your makeup to be done. I mean, we could all share our advice and opinions, but at the end of the day, it's what you feel comfortable with. Xavier, Xavier, quiet. Thank you. Um, all right, guys. So, face is set. So, I'm just going to jump in with eyeshadow. I'm not going to do nothing drastic or nothing crazy. Um, I already have put a primer on my eyes. So, it's already primed. So, I'm just going to just go in. And just do what we do. So I'm gonna go with this shade. And I this palette don't come with a it's called mattifying. So I'm gonna go, there's a lighter shade, but I'm going with the second lightest all over my lid. Just everywhere. You wanna just do it everywhere. I'm just using my the same blending brush. So basically, it's so to set that primer in. That's what we're using it for. And you're going to do the same thing with this one. Okay. So you just want this all over. All right. All right. So guys, now I'm going to jump in with... Um, I'm going to go with a dark shade to just a little above, like, the eyelid. And then I'm going to do this in my crease to see what we can make up. Because I'm going to give this a fair shot. So, let's do this. Well, I can tell you that this is pigmented. And I just brought it into my crease. I'm like, whatever. I just want to make a look that's going to be functional. So everything with the, with um, eyeshadow is just basically just making sure it's nice and blended. Okay. As you can see, see the harsh lines. So you just want to. Soothe that out. And I'm getting like really annoyed because it's like hard to blend. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm just going to do one eye with you guys and then do my other eye and then come back because I like I said I don't want this video to be super long but I'm gonna soothe those lines with the lighter shade I had said oh my god I mean I'm not I mean the little palette the quad palette is like pigmented but I'm not really happy so now I'm gonna go in with um that light shade I said to see if I could soothe these edges out okay I mean it's doing something Okay. I'm not 100% thrilled. 
or like oh my god i'm not so just working with what we got guys this is the whole challenge so this is what we're gonna do okay i'm gonna continue working on that but i just want to just jump in with um the shimmer i'm doing the shimmer like a low gold because we're doing we're doing brown right now so i tell you we're doing a neutral like little look so let's do this so i'm going in with gold and by what it looks like on my brush is picking up so i'm just gonna brush this on the lid Lately, guys, I've been, like, really struggling with migraines. So, if you have any homemade um, tips, feel free to share them with your girl in the comment box. And you guys know I always respond back. Almost always. So... It's not boom... I wonder if I was to wet the brush. Or let me try doing it with my finger. For some reason, finger always picks up like more. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So, yeah. The finger. Um, will work just fine. And they're really pigmented. I'll tell you that. You just have to use your finger. And I'm not too thrilled about that. So we're going to go back in with, um, just to soothe these lines because I'm going crazy. These lines are like really like, like they're really like really annoying me. All right, guys. This is as good as eyeshadow is going to get with this eye. So I'm just going to jump in and do the next, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we're trying. Okay, so I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to do my blush. As you can see, there wasn't much fallout at all. And I'm going to, like I said, Tread lightly because you don't want to end up looking like Boo Boo the Fool. And what I do is I tend to smile and go on the apples on my cheeks. Okay. See it? Pretty. And then. Not the best brush for this, but whatever. We work out what we got, right? Okay. Okay. I'm content. Um, now, last but not least, let's do some highlight. Not last, but least. My lips is last. I wish I could find an eyebrow pencil, but I didn't. So, yeah, that blows. So... I don't even know how to go about it with this. I'm confused, guys. So we're gonna like... I don't know, I'm using the same brush. <laughs> it's the same brush. So maybe like just place it. And then use my blush brush and like... I mean, you could do it, but, okay, there you go. Now I picked up way more product. Okay. So, I mean, it's eyeshadow, and that was my fucking stupid brother. Um, sorry for the cursing, guys, because he knows I'm recording, and he's doing stuff on purpose, and I'm not too happy about that. 
So, no, uh, this is not working for a highlight. Let me see. I mean, it is, but I can't be like, this is weird just dipping in. <sighs> I don't know. I just like find this so freaking awkward. And pause this video so I can open this. All right, guys. So to finish the look, we're gonna use this lippy, which is like like a nudish, and the color doesn't state it. It's called Clarity. Um, if you look at my lip right here, my lips is really dry and like an idiot. I I bit my lip and I ripped off this. Ugh. I'm dumb. I always do that. So, I mean, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Okay. No liner. No nothing. So, we're working with what we got, guys. I just hate that it's so big, you know? It's light. Oh, well, the camera doesn't look that light. I mean, it's moisturizing. It's not sticky. Now I'm going to add some shine to it. I mean, guys, this is the finished product, and I didn't do my hair. Like I tell you, I just came out the shower, so just so you could get an idea. Oh, my hair is not behaving. All right, whatever. You get the idea. Uh, yeah, my hair is not like behaving at all. So this is the finished look. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's pretty decent. Like, like I said, if you're on the go and you just want to put some light makeup because you're going to the doctor's office, then this would be it. I mean, I'm impressed I pulled it off with Dollar Tree items. I mean, besides the foundation and the primer and the brush. But I'm pleased. And I would, like, probably just up my hair in a way. Like, whatever. This is what it is. It's nighttime and I'm just playing with makeup for you guys. So, no need to do my hair. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my God. Guys, I love you because you guys just put up on my stupidity and I love it. And whatever, we're just going to leave this bad boy tied. Look at this, my little sad ponytail. All right, so... Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I mean, I could go in real quick and like just to highlight the inside. I'm going to just use my finger. Oh, well, shit. Um, bad words again. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to keep this like nice. I mean, that's not even the finished look, guys. I'm losing my marbles here, and this is going to be a super long video. It's going to be under 30 minutes, but guys, you can skip through, and I'll put it, um, I'll put it in the description that it's long or like in a, right before the video starts. And all my loyal, loyal subscribers that actually sit there and watch this whole video, you guys are the real MVP. So, I want you guys, if you really did watch the whole video, I love you. That's one. Two, hashtag loyal. And I know you watched it full. You know, guys. 
I need to go on my mirror, guys, because I'm like using the viewfinder and this is ridiculous. Now, maybe if I would have used my my lash curler, it would have looked better. But I mean, I, can, I gotta say that the mascara is not clumpy. I mean, it's good for everyday basic mascara. Now, I don't know how it wears. Neither am I leaving it on to know how long it wears. But you also gotta be mindful, guys. You are gonna get what you pay for. And, um, be content. <laughs> That's all I got to tell you guys. If you're paying a dollar, be mindful and do not be upset with the companies. It's not the company's fault. When you go affordable, this is the outcome of it. I so I have, like, the retarded lashes in the bottom. It's like, they used to be a happy home and then they divorced. So, the bottom lashes, like, they go, like, separated. It's bad. So, this is with um some mascara. I mean, it's, like I told you, this is good. You're just going out real quick. And you just want to look put together with a cute outfit. And this is right for you. I'm pleased. I mean... Would I personally dip into these again? I think so, maybe. Would they be one of my favorites? No. My ultimate favorite out of this is the blush. And, um, I mean, this could be a lifesaver. You don't have real highlighters or you're just beginning and you just want something to put a look together. Go grab you one of these. And I never had a problem with the Wet n Wild brushes. I love these Wet n Wild brushes. I really do. I do love my e.l.f. brush. This was fun. So, until next time, guys. Love you guys. And thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with me. To this slow but amazing journey. And like I said, if you watched the video, thumbs up. If you watched it all, or if you enjoyed it, thumbs up. And um, remember, hashtag loyal, so I can know you watched the whole video. Because that will be real kick-ass, and I would love that. Okay, guys, enough blabbering. Until next time, love you all.